Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Authentic Faith, for Tuesday, May 11th. Our theme for today is uh, Isaac and Honesty. So our reading uh, comes from uh, Genesis, the 26th chapter. Now there was a famine in the land besides uh, the previous famine in Abraham's time, and Isaac went to uh, Abimelech king of the Philistines in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I will tell you to live. Stay in the land for a while, and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and will give them all these lands. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed me and did everything I required him to do, keeping my commands and decrees and my instructions. So Isaac stayed in Gerar. When the men of that place asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister, because he was afraid to say, She is my wife. He thought the men of this place might kill me on account of Rebekah, because she is beautiful. When uh, Isaac uh, had uh, been there a long time, Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked down from a window and saw Isaac caressing his wife, Rebekah. So Abimelech summoned Isaac and said, She is really your wife. Why did you say she is my sister? Isaac answered, Because I thought I might lose my life on account of her. Then Abimelech said, What is this that you have done to us? One of the men might well have slept with your wife, and you would have brought guilt upon us. So Abimelech gave orders to all the people. Anyone who harms this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Isaac planted crops in that land, and the same year reaped a hundredfold, Because the Lord blessed him, the man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. So all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped up, filling them with earth. Then Abimelech said to Isaac, Move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar, which he settled. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. As you remember, Isaac is the son of Abraham and Sarah, meaning his name meaning laugh. He now has a wife of his own, Rebecca, and they have two children, twins, Isaac, no, Isaac, being the father of Jacob and Esau, twins, and we will hear about them in the next uh, two days. But Isaac was a part of God's plan, but Isaac had uh, faults of his own. Under pressure, he tended to lie. In conflict, he sought to avoid confrontation. Well, despite all of these things, God blessed Isaac. But it's so hard for us sometimes to be honest, especially under pressure. So may we learn from Isaac that God is with us and God blesses us, that honesty is truly the best virtue. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for Isaac. Lord, he had faith in you, but he didn't have faith in others. 
Lord, help us to be able to trust others and know that you have a plan for us and for our lives. Bless us this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you with faith. May God fill you with hope. And may God surround you with love. Amen. Have a blessed day.